Welcome to the Originality Workshop, where Chris and I, uh, Christine Catherine Rush and I, are going to do our best here to teach a subject that is, before now, pretty much thought unteachable. Um, and so this, this workshop is, is going to go into places that are going to be difficult at times. Um, they're going to make each of you uncomfortable, often in different places. Um, somebody will be uncomfortable with one concept and uncomfortable with another. That's a good thing. For this six weeks, um, when you get uncomfortable with something that I am saying, that Chris and I have um, you know, basically detailed out here, um, check in with yourself. Where is the uncomfortableness coming from? That's going to be an important thing as you go through this workshop because we as writers in this society here, I'm recording this in early 2014, um, we are um, just plagued, and, and I do use that word correctly, we are plagued by numbers of myths that infect us and that what things that we are taught. And to be a commercial fiction writer, a writer who basically sells to readers who want to read their work, read their series, read other things um, that they do, you have to unlearn what is taught as you are growing up. Because what we were all taught growing up, and I was no exception to this rule, um, is that there are certain ways that writers function. It's societal. It is prevalent. It has been around. I can trace back to where a lot of these things started, and I have because I've been, I'm have been. i a history buff on the history of publishing and writing, and I know where a lot of it started. I know how it came about. Still didn't help me clear a lot of it out, and I think there isn't a writer on the planet that isn't, at one point or another, trying to clear stuff out. So it's, it's a matter of of timing that we have, um, hmm, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can pick this up where I left off. Um, by and large, what um, occurs is that we all are trained by our upbringing. There is no exceptions to that rule. Nobody, nobody was trained in the techniques and the abilities and what is needed to be a long-term professional fiction writer. We're just not. And when we come in as young writers trying to break in, what we hear over and over and over again from editors and agents and readers and blogs and everything else is that we hear a constant badgering that we have to write like everybody else, which is exactly wrong. We don't. We don't want to be the next you know, Harry Potter clone because Rowling already did it and is gonna and did it better than anybody else can do. You don't want to be the next, you know, Twilight clone. You don't want to be the next whatever clone, the next fifty shades of gray clone. Whatever is popular at the moment that you're listening to this, you don't want to be a clone of that. You want to be the person who invents it. You want to be what everybody else is trying to imitate. You don't want to be an imitator. Um, and so it's one of these aspects that this is difficult to get past because of the training. And so as you f go through this workshop and something I say or something just makes your, get your hackles up or gets you angry or go, oh, I could never do that. The minute you hear yourself think that, stop and ask yourself why you have that belief system. Because it is a belief system. You can do anything you want to do, folks. Every one of us are different. There's no right way to walk this road to commercial. But there are a whole bunch of things that commercial writers do that are similar to each other. We all do them slightly different. And one of the aspects about originality is that we know how to be original. You know, and we do it in our own ways. Okay, and I'm going to talk about what those ways are here as I get through this, the rest of this week here and get started on this. So I wanted to set this up at the beginning. This is a difficult topic. It will cause some problems in different areas for you. It will cause you to go, ah, I don't believe that. Well, that's fine if you really don't believe it. But if you don't believe it because an English teacher in the, in the 12th grade or the 10th grade taught you that, or some college professor who is not a writer taught you that, 
then check in on that. Check in with yourself and say, why do I not believe that? What facts do I have in evidence that I don't believe that? Or is it just a belief system back here that is not based in any kind of facts? It's going to be fun. This will be an interesting workshop. Um, I'm, I'm, Chris and I have had a, a, a blast putting it together and some pretty good arguments. So this will come through, I'm sure. <laughs> Hang on. Here we go.